Cause your sky, cause your sky full of stars I'm gonna give you my heart So I've got another at-home workout for you guys today and all you're going to need is a dumbbell. I'm going to give you just the highlights in this video and if anyone wants to follow along with me for the full 20 minute workout, I'll put a link to that video in the description and that'll give you guys a good idea of what the workouts are like on my membership site. I do run 30 day programs so click that link if you want to follow along with me and then Check out my new crop top. What do you guys think? This is from FTLA Apparel. It is super soft. I absolutely love it. I got this in a white and in a gray. And then I got two different logos. This company is great because you can customize the colors that you want. If you want a different logo on it, she'll change up the logo for you. So super loving this uh, crop top. And if you are interested in purchasing this, I'll put the link in the description as well. And let's get to work. It was all a dream. I used to read Word Up magazine. Something pepper and heavy D up in the limousine. Hanging pictures on my wall. Every Saturday, rap attack, Mr. Magic Molly Ma. I let my tape rock till my tape pop. Smoking weed and bamboo, sipping on private stock. Way back when I had the red and black lumberjack with the hat to match. Remember rapping Duke? The hard, the hard. You never thought a hip hop would take it this far. Now I'm in the limelight, cause I'm brown tight. Time to get paid, blow up like the world trade. Born center, the opposite of a winner. Remember when I used to eat sardines for dinner? Piece of Ron G, Brucey e. B, Kid Capri. Funk Master Flex, Love Bugs, Dusky. Woo! I'm blowing up like you thought I would. Caught a crib, say nothing. The same hood and it's all good Yeah, and if you don't know, now you know I Don't you dare look back Just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back She said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny She said ooh, ooh Shut up and dance with yeah. me Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground is where I spend most of my days. Chilling out, maxing, relaxing, all cool, and shooting some b-ball outside of school. When a couple of guys who were up to no good started making trouble in my neighborhood, I got in one little fight. My mom got scared. She said, "You're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air." I whistled for a cab, but when it came near, the lights placed a pressure. There was dice in the mirror. If anything, I could say a discount was rare, but I thought, now nah, forget it. You're on the Bel Air. Don't you dare look back. Just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back She said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny She said ooh, ooh Shut up and dance with me You lose yourself in the music The moment you own it You better never let it go You only get one shot Do not miss your chance to blow This opportunity comes once in a lifetime You better lose yourself in the music The moment you own it You better never let it go You only get one shot Do not miss your chance to blow This opportunity comes once in a lifetime uh, Don't you dare look back Just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back She said shut up and dance with me This woman is my destiny She said ooh don't you dare look back Just keep your eyes on me I said you're holding back She said shut up and dance for me This woman is my destiny floating around YouTube for protein ice cream and it looks a lot like a protein fluff. So I thought today I would veganize it for you. Now you may be asking yourself, well just what the heck's wrong with eating whey protein powder and not killing any animals by doing it and maybe why am I so concerned about what someone else is eating. The reason we want to raise awareness and share is because while you have the freedom to consume animal products, you are not free from the consequences of consuming animal products. What's the what's the way? The way is the liquid. That's the liquid? Okay. It's curds and whey. 
Right. That's what curds and whey means. Yeah. So these are the curds. This is curd. Yeah. And this is the whey. Yeah. I Every kilogram of cheese or yogurt made leaves manufacturers nine kilograms of whey. Like other female mammals, cows only lactate or produce milk when they're pregnant or have a newborn to feed. So the dairy industry inseminates or impregnates cows starting at the age of around 12 months over and over and over again so they keep making milk. And when that baby cow is born, it's pretty much immediately taken away from its mother and locked in a crate. Because if it stayed around mom, it would drink her milk. <laughs> and that shit's for us. If the baby's a male, his throat is slit and he's sold for veal. And if it's a girl, she's raised to be a milk machine like mom. And when a dairy cow is finally too physically and emotionally exhausted to continue on, she collapses. These cows are called downers, and they are dragged out by whatever means to be killed and sold for beef. The demand for animal foods is getting higher and higher every year. But producing them is extremely inefficient and polluting. Farm animals contribute more to global warming than the entire transportation sector. How can this be? For one thing, animal protein production releases much more carbon dioxide than plant protein production. See, first you've got to grow and harvest the feed grains, then transport them to the farms where the animals are. You need energy to operate those farms, then to transport the animals to the slaughterhouse. Of course, you have to operate the slaughterhouses, and finally, you have to process and store the animal flesh. On top of that, farmed animals also produce methane when they burp, fart, and breathe. Methane is 23 times stronger than carbon dioxide at trapping heat in the atmosphere, according to the EPA. Now add to this the fact that we've cleared 70% of forests in the Amazon and elsewhere for cattle grazing and cattle feed. The good news is that switching from the standard American diet to a vegan one for one year would reduce your carbon dioxide emissions more than switching from a normal car to a hybrid. I don't know if you can smell it, but this is a very fresh double quarter pounder with cheese from McDonald's. And I want to show you how much oil goes into producing this. It's my oil. Now remember, the oil is in the fertilizer. That's how you make that nitrogen fertilizer. And the oil is in the pesticide. So this is an eight ounce glass. Okay, that's about eight ounces. But that's not all. You need another eight ounces for the processing and to move it around. And another eight ounces. And two more ounces. 26 ounces of oil to produce this burger. That burger, 26 ounces of oil, um, well, as you can imagine from that, it also has quite a carbon footprint. Um, 13 pounds of carbon into the air, which is the equivalent of burning seven pounds of coal, okay? In order to get one pound of beef, you have to feed a steer six to ten pounds of grain, which also means that much more water is used because you have to irrigate all that grain. And cows drink 50 gallons of water or more per day. But it's not just what goes into the farm animals that's a problem. It's also what comes out. For example, hogs in North Carolina produce 10 times more fecal waste than people do in North Carolina each day. And all that poo has to go somewhere. Often, it's stored in huge open-air sewage pits called lagoons. As these fill up, the waste is sprayed onto fields. Unfortunately, the lagoons are prone to leaks and spills, and waste from sprayed fields runs into lakes and streams and contaminates groundwater. According to the World Health Organization, more antibiotics are fed to farm animals than is used to treat disease in human patients. Doctors overprescribe antibiotics, but huge amounts of antibiotics are used in fish farming and other intensive animal agriculture, up to four times the amount used in human medicine. Why? Suboptimum growth to slaughter weight caused by unsanitary conditions can be compensated with by addition of antibiotics to feed. Instead of relieving any stressful, overcrowded, unhygienic conditions, it may be cheaper to just you know, dose the animals with drugs. When animals receive 
unnecessary antibiotics, bacteria can become resistant to the drugs, then travel on meat to the store, and end up causing hard-to-treat illnesses in people. A number of prominent publications recently warn of the threat of antibiotic resistance. The CDC estimates that at a minimum more than 2 million people are sickened every year with antibiotic-resistant infections in the United States, with at least 23,000 dying as a result. We may be at the dawn of a post-antibiotic era. From cradle to grave, antibiotics have become pivotal in safeguarding the overall health of human society. So the dire phrasing from head officials may be warranted. There are now infections like carbapenem-resistant Enterobacter, resistant to nearly all antibiotics, even the so-called drugs of last resort. Worryingly, some of these last resort drugs are being used extensively in animal agriculture. Cause your sky, cause your sky full of stars I'm gonna give you my heart Cause your sky, cause your sky full of stars Cause you light up the path Marshmallow. Mm, really good texture. I used a plain protein powder, and although I put some pudding mix in it, if I make this again, I will probably add some like stevia or other spices just to sweeten it up and make it a little bit more flavorful. Mm. But the texture is heaven, just like marshmallow. If you want this more like ice cream, then I would recommend maybe only using a quarter teaspoon of the xanthan gum and more ice, and that will give it more of an ice cream texture rather than a protein fluff texture. Mm. This is fantastic. So give it a try, and then leave me a comment below if you make any really tasty alterations to the recipe so that I can try it. That is it for today, you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hop on my website for more information, and we'll see you guys next video. Be vegan. Peace.